Welcome to day two of this journey with me towards befriending your emotions and finding your freedom with them. Today I would like to invite you into two inquiries. The first one will be around the thoughts, the beliefs, the stories that you held around um, different emotions, stories that you grew up with, anything actually that keeps you away from receiving yourself with everything that comes up for you, with all the life that comes up for you. And the second question I will ask you is around your intention for this journey. Because you see, I believe that intentions are extremely powerful. They help us to focus and direct our attention and our energy towards what we want to create and not towards what we want to avoid, right? So it is really important to think about what is it that you would like, where would you like to be, or what you would like to, like which qualities you would like to have in your life at the end of this journey, or maybe like in three months, or maybe in a year. But before we go there, before I create a little bit of space for this, I would like to invite you just to sit comfortably and ask yourself this first guiding question that we started with yesterday. Do you remember what it was? What is life for you right now? Just notice. What are the feelings? What are the sensations? What are like even bodily signals that you become aware of when you ask yourself this question? What is alive for you right now? And whatever you notice, whatever you encounter, the, you can see if you can receive yourself with kindness. And with curiosity, that's another one that is very helpful in exploring our emotional world. Curiosity. Just get curious. And as you get curious and as you have the intention to be kind and tender towards yourself, notice if there are any thoughts or anything that gets in the way of you meeting yourself where you are. These may be thoughts like, oh, if I stop, like this will never stop. This would be overwhelming. This is uncomfortable. These may be also thoughts that are related to particular emotions. So you may really look at um, these top of mind ideas that you grew up with like um, you know sadness never helps for instance or big boys don't cry or girls shouldn't get angry I mean these are just few thoughts that um, I heard as I was growing up. So what are these thoughts that you have in your mind, in your system? Bring them out. Make them visible. Because they do run the show oftentimes. And they stand in the way of us experiencing our full spectrum of humanity. And then again, I'm speaking about feeling and not necessarily acting um, on the feeling that we experience right now. It's about really creating a new form of relationship with our emotions. And with this, I would like to quote to you right now the poem by Rumi that I mentioned yesterday. 
the guest house. Because this is one way or one story, if you like, that you can tell yourself about emotions and about how we can approach them and hold them. So, this being human is a guest house. Every morning a new arrival, a joy, a depression, a meanness, some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. Welcome and entertain them all, even if they're a crowd of sorrows who violently sweep your house empty of its furniture. Still, treat each guest honorably. He may be clearing you out for some new delight. The dark thought, the shame, the malice. Meet them at door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful for whoever comes because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. Be grateful for whoever comes because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. So what is the life for you right now? Take a breath, take a moment. Just notice. And also notice your intention for this journey. A journey of three months. A journey in which I will first share with you different um, tools, practices, techniques, how you can create safety within, how you can feel safe with your emotions. And then we will investigate, get curious about, inquire and befriend fear, anger, guilt, shame, sadness and joy and in the way on the way you may meet virtually any emotion that exists so these are just the signposts the the milestones and I will share some ideas with you how you can approach them so that you can investigate them even deeper with yourself or with your body, I will also invite you to find someone to practice with, to explore with. So what is your intention for this journey? What would you like? What would your heart enjoy? What sort of relationship with yourself, with your emotions, with your aliveness? Feel free to share both your beliefs and your intentions in our group. Enjoy your day. Mm-hmm.